I've just shut myself. I can keep my eyes closed in case it explodes. Get him, bro. Get him. Oh, oh go on. <laughs> He's off. Good morning. Now, what I'm about to show you in today's vlog may shock you. It's actually a bit of vlog footage that I filmed previously, like a few days ago. And it's actually going to be where I start today's vlog off. <laughs> it makes me laugh when I get in Diane's car. I've not been in this car for a long time. But as soon as I get in and turn the key, the wipers are going here. They're going at the back. It's, it's all over the shop. And the reason I'm in Diane's car is because I'm going to move it into the garage because it's genuinely growing life organisms on it it needs a good clean but i think if we clean it it's gonna leak and also i think it's been so long since she's driven it that i don't think no it's not turning on diane i think your car has died from my small amount of knowledge about cars i don't quite know is it a battery thing but then this turns on Maybe it's the starting motor. All right, here we go. Nah, I think it's just the battery. And then this turns on. Okay, ignition. On. No. Nah. Well, the second Diane that she's growing down here is coming along nicely. <laughs> so I've had a chat with Diane, two things. First thing she said, was turn down the fan on your car because I can't hear what you're saying. She didn't say that. First thing she said was I can go ahead and open that box um, of the water tank thing and set that up when she's back, um, which should be a fun job. Second thing is the car battery now is completely dead. I go to turn it on and turn the key and nothing. And Diane said that she wants to be able to drive our car when she gets back as well. So I feel like I'm sort of just basically just sort of prepping everything for when she returns. Um, so we're trying to work it out and she's not driven that car since well, probably since Strictly started, I feel like. Would it have been? Yeah, probably would. I think since Strictly started, she's uh, last year, she's not been able to drive that car. So I'm going to go out and try and find a battery. I, I, don't have to get, I don't know if to just get normal jump leads that attach to my engine and go onto hers, but we've got outdoor plug sockets. So I'm thinking it's probably easier to get one that I plug into the wall and just like a, is it a trickle charge? I don't know if it's a trickle charge, but something, um, that sounds like that but not as cool to say as trickle charge so basically yeah today's task is just to prep for diane's return let's go done sorted uh i did pick up this massive great big like four in one old school looking battery pack charger which to be fair was pretty big and the guy at the till was like nah you don't want that if i'm honest you don't want that you want this instead which is actually cheaper but apparently he reckons it does the job a lot better chat is that true or is that false it's a gb20 noco boost sport it sounds like something you drink after doing a workout but apparently this little bad boy in here is what i need right this is it right but it has these it obviously go off onto the battery and he said this is what i need um, but he did say read the instructions very carefully and he's also said, I'm just doing this so I can remember myself, red first, then black. So we don't get the spark and risk damaging anything. Red first, then black, then on. I hope he's right. This thing is an absolute unit. Uh, hello, is that the 90s? Yeah, I've got one of your phones. And so is the manual. I mean, that's like an actual flip book. I'm hoping it's the same five simple steps, but in 25 languages, so it's not a big revision session just to get a battery charger started. We're rocking, we're rolling, we're not quite charged yet. And it takes a while. That is a long, long old charge, but I am hoping by the end of the day I can hook that up, do it right. Sorry, I'm distracted by this. <laughs> Whenever I walk past this thing now, I'm always giving it a good old stare for a solid five seconds to see if that red light comes on. I'm paranoid. Hopefully by the end of today, Diane's car will be up and running. Dun, 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 dun. I just want to point out, this is not the surprise of what is going to be in this garage. It is going to stay in the garage, good old Sergey, but it's not the, uh, what is, I think, potentially arriving tomorrow. So tomorrow's vlog could be quite an exciting one. But in the meantime, I've come in here because I've been looking at your comments on the other couple of vlogs that I've been doing stuff in this garage. And there's two things that I want to do, ideally before tomorrow. I think, ooh, 
my cable management didn't last very long. A few of you in the comments were saying, actually, why don't you just paint the breeze block? Because the standard, like the standard breeze block color isn't that nice. And I agree. Um, so they said, get, get a tub of masonry paint and paint this wall a different color, which annoyingly, because of these, they're going to stand out unless I can also get paint that goes on metal. Maybe masonry paint will work on this, I don't know. But I'm starting to think actually, rather than try and border around here and do all that kind of stuff, because eventually I might paint these anyway, I'm thinking, why don't I just paint this wall? And I'm thinking to paint it white, which I believe if I move Diane's bike out of the way, I think this particular paint here exactly what we need although i've just looked it's masonry paint which is great and what exactly what i want but it's gray which is not what i want so i'm going to go to the shops get some paint and also get a roller and probably end up painting these walls maybe not today although ideally i'd love to do it today but it's going to take probably at least three coats on these kind of blocks because these blocks are so full of like just holes and little dents and stuff it's gonna be a pain in the ass to paint but I like jobs that are a pain in the ass. So this is perfect. The other task lies above my head because I do have some space, although not a lot of it, up here in the roof space to store things and put some sort of storage thing in. So if I can use a step ladder to get up here and store a lot of bits and bobs that I don't want cluttering up the garage or the house or anything like that can go up here. So what I might need is some board that will fit up here, a small little piece of board loads of little small pieces that I can screw in, screw in and do it all the way across. The only issue is these cables here might be an issue. Also, there's already loads of board here. I don't know what this board's from. Ah, I, ah, I know what they are. They're samples. These are samples of the flooring that we have in the house. But what these are, I have no idea unless these or maybe a different sample. Also, a lot of you in the comments were saying, Joe, for the whole chippy situation, why don't you just lift the roof higher, raise the roof, so to speak? I don't mean that in a kind of get crazy kind of term. I mean like raise the roof as in, make this all taller and higher so you can fit the camp fan in. As you can see, I can't raise it. It's not a very tall roof. It's, not, it's a flat roof on top. So I can't raise all this any higher. And even if I did, it would be such a pain in the ass time consuming and probably quite expensive because you've got there a giant steel beam as well. But also, even if I could do all that, Chippy wouldn't fit in here anyway with the new arrival there tomorrow. And now to plank for the loft space. So I wanted to know what this would look like if it was a lighter floor as opposed to the dark gray. And oh my God, that's a real difference. But ignore that, Joe, I like the dark floor. I don't want a lighter, I don't want a lighter floor. I cannot go changing the entire floor down here. Nope, no, nope. get that thought out of our heads. And also do not show Diane this footage because I know that she'll go, oh, I love that color, let's change to that. And I don't want to do that, not yet. We've not even been here a year yet. Also, the picture is up on the wall. An original Josug. Very, very nice. Oh, we are basically, <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. By the time I get back from B&Q, I reckon, it's got a light on it. Oh, that's cool. And probably necessary. By the time I get back from the hardware store, I reckon it will be time to try and bring back Diane's car from the dead. So I think this could be what I want, but it might be a bit too small. I really should have measured before actually coming here. Moment of truth. I don't have a key. Great start. But I can start by finding the little latch under here somewhere. There it is. And alley oop. Let's see what we're dealing with. So, Batori, I believe to be here. Plus, minus, and dead spider. RIP. I have found the battery, but already forgotten where plus and minus was. Which one was which? Anyway, I should be able to connect this little port here into this. <coughs> then it says in the instructions, attach 
one to each nipple and then we should no not nipple why have i got that song stuck in my head dumb ways to die Ooh, okay what could possibly go wrong Joseph? Ah! oh my god i've just shat myself it doesn't help that these cables are quite short right like me <laughs> three two one yes Okay, got the key. Let's see if we get some life in the old gal. Key in. That didn't feel very promising. Don't know why. Three, two, one. Oh dear. The thing is, this white light's on, which means that it is doing its thing. Annoyingly, I don't think this has worked, Doc. Uh, it's such a shame because. Nah, nothing. But let's not let that dampen our spirits and let's move on to the next task. It is getting dark and very cold, but I bought the bits and bobs to do this wall and I think I might, although I'd love to dry and be done before tomorrow, if, if what did he say what it was then, if what is arriving tomorrow does arrive tomorrow, ideally I want it done before then, but if I can just get the base coat on today. It's not a big wall, right? It's not a big wall. That's it for now. Haven't had a chance to finish it because someone's arrived. You're early. Yeah, I'm early. Bloody, I haven't finished my wall. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you can have a go now. You can do, you can do the rest of it. <laughs> Things have progressed. <laughs> for anyone wondering what's going on, we're trying to open this keg of Stella to get it working on the perfect draft that I got at Christmas. Also, our prime is building up. And why is there chocolates hidden behind the sofa? We're trying to get this working. I bought it when my mates came round. Yeah, I bought this when my mates came down for Christmas. We never ended up using it at all. Um, and I've got paint on my future self hoodie. Healthy, I need a new one. Already Ace has done more than I've been able to do because I never knew it opened up both ways. Um, but, I mean, it's got, the oh, it's got the instructions in here, look. We're just gonna try and wing it. Like I said before, this keg, probably is not going to taste good and could explode. But I did message James Buckley actually and I asked him and he said, there's no such thing as a bad tasting Stella. He said, so it should be absolutely fine. So James, we're going off what if you said. Knows. If anyone knows, yeah, how to work these things, it's the Buckleys. So I'm hoping that it's going to be all right and we're going to actually get, although it's going to be warm, mind. Should we put it in the fridge first? Surely that chills it. I don't think it does. Mate, why does it have air vents? I back? don't think it's got a chiller. Of course it I think that's what fizzes it. No, have you seen Joseph? Because it does say put it in the fridge beforehand. Is that plastic bit have to come out or am I just trying to force this in? Uh, no, no, it stays in. It's like it's, like it's brackets. It's like it's um, shoulder straps. Should we uphold this? Got it. Got it. Yep. keep my eyes closed in case it explodes. It was like strapping in like a kid into a ride. <laughs> the arm bit has come down. Hey! Right. That's a big bit of kit, isn't it, to be fair? Also, it's very dusty. Oh my God. Mr. Whippy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's, uh, we actually, um, it's a keg of milk, <laughs> fizzy milk. Oh. oh no, we're gonna need it. Oh, it's not. Ah. No, it's gonna be cold. How do we know? 20 degrees. That is not how I like my beer. I don't know if that's where it's gonna live, but it should be somewhere. It's got to be in here. It's gotta be somewhere down here. Because or the bar down the bottom of the garden. Now that would make sense, but it's a long old way It's too point. much of a trek. I think if we're gonna go down the bottom of the garden, we go out of our way to take it down there and prep it all ready for like and a party. It has to stay in here. It's gotta be in here. Next to the karaoke machine. A very dangerous combo. Oh, but yeah. also Diane's brought a this new water tank thing, which I've also got to try and set up, 
which the irony of like she's hang on. One ones you put the water on? it's like a proper fil- triple filtered like water thing which should go in the gym so you go you get your water from the gym but out here in the games room you get your your beer it just shows what we're like as people she gets a triple filtered water machine <laughs> i get a i get a draft machine for beer also I've got paint on my face hang on about it's worked it smells like metal Smells like actual metal. Alfie's turned up for the pool well, for the pool water. sesh. He's um, we're gonna we're trying. Well, actually, we've timed it nice. I just said we're trying to order food, right? And this burger place that me and Alfie have been to I'm before. Gonna have to go find okay. <laughs> they're gonna sell out. Okay, go. There's this burger place. Uh, once a month, it comes round because uh, we don't live in London anymore. Once a month, we get this burger van that comes through our our area. And oh my God, it is the best burger. They don't do chips, which I know a lot of people go and that's outrageous. Why would you have a burger without chips? For me, that's perfect because I don't normally care about the chips. For me, it's all about the burger. They do the most amazing burgers. They're called like Chucker Burgers or Chucker Burgers or something. One stack, two stack, three stack or a quad stack, I think. And we've, <laughs> after the last time, we have to go quad, quad stack cheese burger type thing. I can't remember what it's called, but it is one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. So I've... We've all got very, very excited all of a sudden. I'm stuck. Right, Zoe we've arrived. Set the child I was lock. so uncomfortable as well. <laughs> Zoe set the child lock. I don't know. Here's child lock. No, we need to, oh, we need to know what we want. Oh, we need to decide what we want. So far away. Ping. You have part very far away. Pong. All right, you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I fall for that? We've arrived in the rain. It's disgusting, but I can smell the burgers from here. It smells like a ski lodge. It does, doesn't it? It's got like a sort of ski feel. It's about like a log fire. Oh, oh he's happy. This is it. Well, this just happened. We've got the beers. We've got the boigers. All right, that best look. Look at that. Looks like that child look at that little stuff. bit of onion hanging down oh, off your finger. It's actually outrageous. We also, went, we also went to the chip shop, which is the best chip shop in the world. So we've got the and best burgers crazy, in the world, the best chips in the world, and the best drink oh. in the world. Oh, <laughs> no. My God, <laughs> Try that. My exit reflux is going through the roof, man. Oh. Yeah, that's dangerous. That is just. Look at it. Yeah, that was better. That looks very good. And I have gone for the Beak, it's called. It's a local parade IPA, it's called. It's got a really nice label on it. Um, but 6%. Oh my god. Has he always got Paul Pork in, or is that someone's hair? Yeah, <laughs> Someone cleaned out the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it looks bloody good, though. Do you not yeah. ketchup in the fridge? No. No. Who is ketchup in the fridge? Mate, the right people. Because it's hot, hot, hot okay. Okay. food okay, with okay, cold yeah. ketchup. Let's look at the packet and see what it says. What does it say on the, on the guy? This. One fridge in the fridge. Uh, yeah, fridge but, fridge. but are you going to listen to what Heinz tell you to do? Yeah. No, they don't know. Trust me. Pass the sell by day and oh in the cupboard. Lovely. But that was unreal. Right, Alfie, what's the what's the forfeit for the loser? Why did you literally have to start the vlog? Sorry. Just, <laughs> as I literally hit your ball first. What what's the forfeit? What is the forfeit for the loser? Joe gets the camera and starts saying this <laughs> just as he pops two balls a minute ago. You wouldn't have said that. The forfeit. Two minutes in the ice bath. This is going in. <laughs> Fair play, it just wasn't in your camera angle. I Annoyingly, yeah, I definitely didn't get that on camera. The game's been paused because we're having a, a bench off. After eating that burger, I could not push out that. Oh, he's got it. What's that? That's, is that 60 kg? No, wait, we go up in reps or up in weight? I thought we were up in weight. Oh, you're going up in weight? Yeah, that's what it's Wait, let me, try and, let me try and do six. I've never done, I don't think I've ever, this is, my, this is like me pushing my own body weight. Yeah, three, two, one. Okay, ready? Yours. Get him, bro. Get him. Yeah, light oh, work. Come on now. Come on now. Boom. Steve Peeping. That's like me lifting my, pushing my own right, body so weight. I'm letting them do this. I'm not getting involved. It's gonna end in tears. Boys, I'll be ready with the gun just in case afterwards. You need your pecs massaged. I'm your guy. Do you want the little things on the sides? No, he doesn't. Go on! Oh, he likes that. Yeah! He, he loves that left hand yeah. side. I don't know why that's my weaker arm. <laughs> I've never understood that. Bro.
<laughs> this side was already up here. That side was down there. What's that? That's 60. That's 80. My back's here. My here. Where? Here. Where? Yeah. Come on, Alfie, you got this. Just think about, just think about. I was going to make you laugh, but I'm not going to. Go! Push, 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 push! No, nah. Oh my. And a minute ago, I was literally like, yeah, I, was I reckon I've got you. <laughs> I was about to. Easy. I literally couldn't even move it. I was about to go, come on, do this for Nala. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get broke to my ring. <laughs> Alfie is in all kinds of bother. <gasps> oh! Not the what's the, what's You've got the pockets the covered, though. Tell you what, he's brought it back. Too much beans, Alfred. Oh, he's put that ball in a very good place, though. Look at that for placement. <laughs> You're such a loser. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> It's it's like, bench press 8 kg. <laughs> yeah. I'm snooping you. Like, I might as well go home. Oh. oh, you've done the exact same thing to me. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> good. Damn it, I'll cut that one out. <laughs> oh, stop, 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 stop. This could be it. Oh, you've got two shots, haven't you? Two shots. Shit. I went, I went to hand you the phone, that's embarrassing. Matthew, if I follow it in, <laughs> that's going to be very embarrassing. Before I did that. That's my celebration. That's my celebration. I've not lost. I need to go for a wee for two minutes. What is going on here? What is going on there? What is this? What is this? And what is this? It's just like an antique that's on the... No, it's a Moscow ears. mule. It's a Moscow mule thing. If you asked for a pint and I gave you this, what would you? What would be your honest reaction? Well, you'd be wearing it. Look, we're dicking about now, because look, this is, um, what, this is washing up. No, it's almost like... <laughs> Mate, that is... <laughs> what is that? We should have read the instructions. That is not, that is not a good look. What would you rather drink? What, cold plunge water or bit that beer? Yeah. I don't know to be honest. Joe's got athlete's feet. I think we've got webbed toes though. Does this count as webbed feet? I don't know. Like that, to me, do you have this? Where your toes are like these three in the middle are kind of like fused you're together. Fingers, that's so long. <laughs> what do you mean? But like my toes, that bit rises up. Look, can you see. Do you do your art with your toes? Do you hold your <laughs> I can. Down? I can do Why everything with my feet. Hand? What size feet are you? Seven. If you didn't have toilet size too. <laughs> yeah, literally, honestly. <laughs> I think I could probably win a game of pool using just my feet. If I had a special chair, one foot, you oh, really? sort of put your foot over, but don't let it touch the floor. And the other foot, Alfie will show you. Yeah, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> oh, go on! <laughs> He's off! He's off! He's off! <laughs> That's it. That's it. You've done it. Wait, where is this? Well, from me and my now 12 degree keg pouring machine thing, um, I think it's time for bed. Part of me is like, do I just turn this off? Because realistically, that by tomorrow morning, that'll probably be sitting around the perfect temperature. But am I going to drink a pint tomorrow? I don't think so. But if I turn it off, is it going to ruin the beer inside? Who knows? I will worry about that tomorrow because I am knackered and I'm going to end the vlog here. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget, or no, don't forget, but also I have not forgotten about going through this and explaining the story. Um, I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago or a vlog ago uh, that there's a crazy story in this folder that didn't make it onto the show that I did want to um, to share with you. I've not forgotten it and I said I would do it this week, but I didn't expect to be collecting the the new the new addition to the to the family tomorrow um so although it's been chucking it down with rain as well so i don't know if it is going to happen now i think it might be that i've not had a text saying that it's been called off so fingers crossed it is still happening tomorrow but it just means i will get to that but it's, the likelihood is now it will be next week um but hopefully it's worth waiting for i mean it might be. Who knows? But anyway, that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And make sure 
you hit that notification bell. So it alerts you when I do upload a new vlog. It does all the work for you. It just tells you when it's up and ready to go. Good night, everyone, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another vlog. But remember, I ain't no daily vlogger. Good night.